I know you guys, I thought the last Ace Family video would be the last of it for a while, but something weird is going on and we need to talk about it. It feels like they're doing stuff, or at least Austin is doing stuff for content now, and lies are happening. It's not a good look at all, and tons of people seem to be catching on and are really not believing they're actually getting divorced now. Austin recently tried to say that he was moving out of Catherine's house, and he even did a little house tour and everything at his new place. He denied faking being sick like people thought just so he could stay in her house a little longer and said that he was officially moved into his own home. So I'm in my new home. So if anybody thought that I was faking like I was sick, y'all are crazy. Y'all be making up so much about me. It's just insane. <laughs> But then a few days ago, he decided to say that things went wrong and he actually wasn't able to move into the new home and instead had to resort to temporarily living in an RV parked right outside of Catherine's house. Regarding my living situation, it's been a little complicated and there was like a minor, minor setback. Fortunately, I was unable to move into the home that I really, really wanted. And you guys know how much that meant to me because I get to be as close as I can be to my kids. This is what I did. I was able to get this new motor home and so I'll be living here, temporary, and there, right here. Now, this all just feels like some big joke to me. I think he's doing it for the clicks at this rate because how can he say he's all moved in one day and then the next day say that it didn't work out and he suddenly got this RV? He gave a tour of this alleged RV that he's living in and during the tour even said that he got the bed custom done, which doesn't sound very last minute planned to live in. Like it just does not sound like this is real. The whole thing is just so weird. All right, so here's my front door. There you go. Come on in, guys. Watch your step. I just got, you know, try to get a few accessories. Um, this bed is probably one of the most comfortable beds that could even be in a motorhome. Like I had to customize, basically, like this room for the for the mattress to fit. Cozy and like these are like the most like expensive seats that you can have in a motorhome. Um, they're the ones that recline all the way into a bed. So like you can lay right here and like, I'll show you. Do you remember what they sound like too? Um, I think the, the yeah, y'all, that's the full tour. Tell me what y'all think, be honest, comment below. Um, again, I'm super happy. Um, this is just temporary and I gotta do what I gotta do for, you know, my kids. As long as, you know, my kids are happy and I'm happy, that's really all that matters. and. You know, I get to be right next to them. It gets even weirder because the next day he posted in the same outfit and it's hard for me to believe that he slept in this dirty shirt from the day before and woke up to this sign on the RV that claimed he can't park there and that he has to move it or the RV is going to get towed. I feel like he literally made this sign on Canva or in Word and printed it out and just put it on the RV for this Snapchat. Plus, this is the same outfit he was in the other day when he was sick, and I feel like he just had a big filming day stockpiling footage to share for content. And I know people can rewear clothes or have multiple of the same shirts, but come on, it just feels a bit ridiculous and staged to me, especially with this photo. Like seriously, what is going on here? I'm so mad right now. I woke up this morning um, and I had a good ass night, even though it was a little cold. Woke up this morning to a damn ticket. I can take it literally at 7.13. They left this fucking ticket on my windshield saying that neighborhood watch alert. This area is for residents only, even though I used to live there. You are not a resident of this neighborhood. You may not leave your park vehicle on the street for more than 72 hours. I don't even know, but violation. What officer did this? Like, and I'm like not too far from the house. Like, I can still see, like, through the tree a little bit. I can still see Captain's house through the tree, so that makes me feel safe. Um, but now I'm dealing with this, and I don't know if I should try to park it back and see if they're gonna come back and give me another ticket or what I should do now. One thing after another.
People are going back to thinking that the Ace family really isn't getting divorced and that this is all just a staged joke because of how ridiculous things have gotten and the way Catherine has been getting so much love. If she is in on this and they actually are pulling a massive prank on everyone, she will for sure be losing all of that love and support so quickly and will probably not be able to gain any of that back. Like, I really don't. With the way that they would have just played everyone, seriously, who would ever believe anything they have to say ever again? again. For their sake, this better be the one time they were truthful or this better be the most money they've ever made on social media so they can just collect and save it because I don't think people will be paying much attention to them after if they're playing everyone. But I guess we'll just have to see if they're actually splitting up or if they admit to just playing games. People on TikTok have been voicing their opinions on everything that's been going on with the Ace family, really having their doubts and telling other people that they maybe shouldn't be buying what the Ace family is putting out there on their social media right now. Why do I feel like the Ace family is doing all of this just for some attention? I just feel like it's all a lie just to get everybody rowdy and going and crazy in the comments. Everybody's so invested. They're so smart. They are so smart, but not smart enough because I know exactly what's going on. It, it's just, I don't know. Something's off about it. Tell me not. I don't know if I'm the other one who sees this, but they're just doing it for, for the clout. And the Ace family is known to play the victim where they always say that the internet is coming for them, the internet is coming for their relationship, people are always talking down on them, making stuff up about them, but nobody's making stuff up here. I mean, everything that everyone is talking about is from their Snapchats and just given their history and their past is why everyone is so questionable when it comes to how genuine what they're saying and putting out there really is. Austin's brother Lannon has been feeding into all of this RV drama as well, posting on his own story saying, praying for your living situation and the RV with the broken heart. Landon also decided to talk more about Catherine and Austin splitting up, talking about the fact that this is real and not some lie. I will say is that first off, I love both of them. Um, I love my brother, obviously. I love, love Catherine for what she's done for my family, the mother that she's been, the wife that she's been, um, you know, taking care of my, my nieces and my nephew, and I'll always be her brother-in-law regardless. It's, this is real people's lives, like real stuff happening. It's not like a, a YouTube video like this it's not a vlog this is a real situation happening with real people a lot of people are involved and a lot of stuff's gonna be happening and i want people to just be aware of that um but with that being said like i said before i am uh wishing them the best in their new chapters um and overall i'm so thankful the biggest part is i'm so thankful that they are such good friends and they were able to go about this in a good way and be cordial and they're gonna have a good co-parenting system everything like that and that's huge for the kids Catherine hasn't been feeding into the RV content, at least not yet she hasn't. Instead, she's been going to Sephora shopping for Austin's new house, which people did ask her why she was buying things for him, and she answered on her Snapchat saying, for his new home, because he's the father of my children and his home is also their home. I'm also excited for him in his new chapter and have compassion and love for him. Why not? Not everything in life has to end bad. I'm not angry, bitter, or spiteful. An end is also a new beginning. Seriously, I'm just waiting for the video that is titled, We Pranked the Internet. And it's the first video that they upload to their YouTube channel in months because that's the way all of this is feeling right now. And they're probably going to say that they always knew the internet wanted them to split up, but they didn't know they had this many haters. When in reality, people are just tired of their dramatics and the lies. And they felt like Catherine might've just gotten this chance to go off on her own and change her entire image and separate or make things right from the past. But if this was all for show, it is done. It is absolutely a wrap for her. People are rooting for her right now. They want her to be able to get away from these dramatics and antics. And if she is in on it, that is just all that love is going away, you guys. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this that has been going on. If you think it's real or not, because, you know, at the end of the day, we don't know yet. So let me know if you think they are pranking everyone for a minute. I really did think they were being serious. I was buying it. I thought that, you know, they were being honest. But with this silly turn that things have taken, it's been extremely hard to take them seriously, at least Austin. But let me know all your thoughts. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.